Oh boy, hot off the presses and uh, shocking news is a second member of Good Good has left the building. And okay, this is news in golf. Remember, I just recently did a podcast about the top 100 most influential people in golf in 2022. And I said that that list was wrong. I think Good Good is in the top 10. And I think they're even probably higher than I gave them credit for, which is pretty high, like top three. They might be number one. They are the fastest growing golf YouTube channel ever. And they are getting massive views. And they're incredibly popular and influential in the sport. And it's great. I love it. And okay, why did Grant and Micah leave Good Good? I'm going to go over that because there, there's a reason why he left. And we, we got to put all the pieces together. All right. So I've been on YouTube since 2005. The first video I ever uploaded was like at the beginning of YouTube. So I've been in this space for a long time. The first golf video I ever did on my golf channel was in 2008. And so I have a, a bit of a knowledge of this space and I've been in the television and film industry since 1994. So I've seen this, this is good. Good is a television show. All right. They are a show. They are an ensemble cast. They are a band, whatever you want to, you know, analogy you want to make about them. That's what they are. They're an ensemble cast. They are good. Good is owned and operated by the parent company. Let's say good, good parent company. And I, I don't know the exact numbers, but Garrett and the, the crew, they have some ownership of it, but primarily let's say if Garrett were to leave, he couldn't take good, good with him, right? It's owned by somebody else. Somebody else has the, uh, the controlling, let's say shares of that property, that brand, that, that trademark. So that is, it's essentially a television show is what good, good is. And it's a good one in this space. So that's what it is. And I've worked on a number of different shows over the years, and there's only a few reasons why people choose to leave. And so Micah and Grant have both left and they've left for one of these reasons. So what are those reasons? And I'll give you my opinion as to which one I believe he truly left for. And I think we can read kind of between the lines in terms of like what, um, what good, good said with the guys like Garrett and Bubby and Matt and, um, the, the other guys said on their video podcast video, they just released yesterday. So we had, I've watched it in its entirety and I've tried to like digest and analyze things that were said reading between the lines, which you could do pretty well, especially with. I say the background that I've had over the years and hearing this many, many times throughout the years in the television space. So one of the reasons why people leave in these, you know, ensemble cast scenarios would be, there's just an argument. There's a rift. There's a disagreement. You don't get along with the, one another and that can happen. I do not believe that that was the case with Grant leaving. All right. I, I believe they all did get along. So I, that could happen. I think that's more likely the case with Micah in terms of there were some personalities that Micah probably just didn't gel with. And so he wanted to just say, look, uh, I'm just going to go my own way now. That's why I believe Micah truly left. But, and also Micah wanted to pursue a pro career and good, good would get in the way of that to some a lot on a high level. And I get that because even for me wanting to go on a pro level, it's challenging to create content or have a set schedule. It's going to be hard for him, Micah anyways, to create content and put in the time, effort, energy needed to make it. I even say that pros on the tours should not do anything social media wise whatsoever because it detracts and takes away from the time they could spend practicing. If you want to compete at that level, it needs to be 100% all focus, all in, all everything. So 
regarding Grant, I don't think, and those guys, man, watching that, that video podcast that they did, they were broken up. They really liked the guy and they wanted to keep, they wanted to keep him genuinely. So you could tell if somebody didn't like him or there was something going on. And I don't believe that was the case. So that, that's not why I believe he left, that he didn't get along. I believe he, he got along with everybody very, very well. One of the other things, and I'm sure people will throw this out there as a conspiracy theory, is this, and it happens, right? That people take a gig in order to just promote themselves. So in other words, did Grant use Good Good to grow his personal brand and then bolt on them? In other words, just using them to get what he can get. Now, I do not believe he did. I don't, I don't believe that at all. That's hard to do because you basically have to fake yourself for the entire time. You just have to be basically lying to everybody. That's hard to pull off. I don't think a 20, young 20 something year old kid could do that at that level. That's, that's challenging to really fake it and get everybody, I mean, you gotta be a pretty sadistic type of person to be able to pull that. I, he's not that. And you would see, we would have seen evidence of that along the way. I do not believe he had this master plan to infiltrate Good Good just to start his own channel and say, I'm where I want to be now, adios. That, no, that didn't happen. All right, so I think we could squash that one. But in the TV world, stuff like that does happen. Or what you get in because you, like you take a gig, an acting gig, and you're like, wow, and it kind of blows you up. You become, let's say, famous or well-known. And then there's some internal thing with yourself that says, okay, cool. Now I'm now it's all about me. And I and that's who I really, you know, like your true nature comes out. Your true selfish nature comes out. And so the, I the, I do not see any hint of that with him. And so I'm gonna I'm just gonna say no. That's not the case, but that does happen in like TV land and I've seen it. So I don't believe that's happened. Now, here's another possibility. And this happens a lot is somebody gets married and they get a wife and there's that this happens all the time. You look at PGA tour or tour players who get married, their game kind of drops most of them. For a little while, just because it's a it's a life change. So, Grant, I believe, got married, and he is hanging out with his wife. And he, the good good is structured like this. And they said that on their video is that there's a good good week where they film all week, they make all that contact content, and then for the next three weeks or the rest of the month, they can do whatever they want, their own channel, whatever. So that week, you're basically gone. You're gone. So if you just get married and you tell your wife, hey, I'm with you three weeks and then I'm out for a week, that's tough. Especially when you're hanging with your wife and you're filming other content and you're having a great time. And then you got to bolt at the beginning of your marriage. No, no. Like even in like time, biblical times in the past, you would get married, you would take a year off and you would just be married. Like that's, there's nothing, that's a good thing. Just focus in, you, man, it's a change of life. You're married, you wanna focus in on that. So it would be challenging to be in love, that early relationship stage, and then say I'm gone for a week and then have to come back into that every week. It's, it's difficult to re-engage in that space. I'm older and when I go on travel for three or four days and I come back into my family, it's like, whoa, I gotta, it takes a day or two for me to just kind of get my bearings straight. And I've had more practice doing it. So that's challenging. So it's possible that he, that life change, he, he would just rather hang out with his wife, which is, if you think about it, and should be uh, permanent, like long-term, your whole life, you, get, you, you choose to marry someone, like you're, you make a decision that I'm in it for life. Now, if you go to good, good, I don't know if you're making a life commitment there. So you're certainly making one in the marriage space, but the, the workspace is difficult. 
So there's that. Now, why good good does not have a non-compete clause, I have no idea. I mean, I would do that. I would have done that day one with everybody. I would say this, you want to be part of this? Come on in, you sign a le at least a one-year non-compete clause, meaning if you leave, you cannot do any golf. I would say you cannot make any golf content on YouTube for one year, zero. Like you can do anything else, but you cannot compete. I would have a non-compete clause. Maybe people would not take them up on that, but I would certainly have something built in to the contract so that you can't just come build your platform and bolt. No way, no how, no nothing. Grant didn't really have, he had a, you know, a little bit going on, but it, once he joined Good Good, boom, his channel exploded. So, it, I mean, just the people behind the scenes, the CEO and the people of Good Good, I would, at, at least at this point moving forward, say, dude, we're not going to go through this again. Like, you want to come in and be part of the, this? Sign here. And if you bolt, then you no content for you. That's what I would do. So that's a little side note. But did he leave because of life change, marriage, or fiance, whatever it is, right? That's a high, high possibility. It happens all the time. You have different priorities. You go out and he's done this. He's made content. I believe it's his wife, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they got married. So she's running the camera or she's helping out in some way, shape or form. And man, that's a good time. I've had my wife come out, film the cam run the camera, hold, you know, help me out a little bit. It's fine. I enjoy it. So she could have gotten or they could have gotten together and said, man, this is really fun. The two of us just doing our thing together. Why don't we just do this all the time? And that's that's a high probability of what I'm not like saying I'm not blaming her. I think it's a good thing. I think you should focus on your family more than your work relationship. And so that is up there in the lists of why he probably um, left, left the team. Another reason, and you see this all the time in bands, is somebody doesn't like being part of the band, right? They want a solo career. They want to do it on their own. That's a possibility. When I started, let's say, when I started golf YouTube full time, I really sat down and analyzed just everything. I looked at the other channels that were out there and I was thinking, okay, there were some channels with multiple people and I really wanted to do that. I wanted to have a team. And I looked at that. This was before Good Good or GM or anybody. Like there were just a few out there. And from the, my TV background, I understood a number of things. If I had multiple people, I had the potential of growing a lot faster. That I knew. And just a lot more character development, a lot more um, personalities that could play off of each other, which is good. And you want those extreme opposite personalities because it really pulls in a lot more viewers. And if you look at TV shows that do a good job at this, that's what they have. Take friends, for example, you know, you have the crazy guy who picks up all the girls. You've got a real, um, intellectual person. You have a funny guy, like you have a bunch of different extreme personalities and that typically works in a television show. So I thought this would work in, in a golf situation. I get people that have these different personalities. That's what, that's what good, good has done. And it is shown to be very, very successful. So I thought about this. I even thought about just having one other person, one sidekick or a partner. And I was, I would look at that and say, okay, what happens when there's a disagreement? What if you want to go in this direction and I want to go in that direction? What happens there? What happens if you leave? What happens if you get married and want to do something different. What happens? There was a lot of what ifs. And I said, okay, we could grow faster, but I could be a lot more efficient, a lot more productive, a lot more mobile and agile as a lone wolf is what they call it. So I said, okay, I'm going to do it on my own. And with that, there's 
pros and cons as well. It's lonely. It's difficult. You got to grind and the grind is lonely and it's hard. And there's days where you're like, I'm out. I can't do this. And it's, it's very, very challenging. But with that, I know like I can always create content and keep moving forward and keep doing the things that I need to do and pivot quickly. And so there's a benefit to that. So pros and cons, but maybe you don't like being part of that band and you want to go off on your own and just say, Hey, I want to be me. I don't want to be tied to that brand. I want to be my own player. So that's a potential possibility. And one of which that is always going to be lurking in everybody's mind. So there's that now good, good. You know, they talk about this in terms of the guys that are still involved in that and how it's, Hey man, we're here for the duration. We're here for 10 years We're, I get that. All right. I was 20 something once myself and I did the same thing. I got a job and I was like, man, I'm in, this is what I want to do like forever. And like a year later, I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of sick of this job. I, I could do something different, <laughs> man. So, Ooh, like even as an editor, I started editing, making TV, um, promos and promotions and movie, uh, spots, TV spots for movies and things like that. And I was like, Oh, this is awesome. And then I was like, after a little bit of time, I'm like, and I really, I really want to get into this area of the business. I want to work. Um, I want to direct. I want to produce. I want to this or that. Like other things come up that you want to move into. So that's going to happen. So I, whatever you look at what they're what they're doing, what they're saying now. You're no one's in it for life. You things are going to happen. Life is going to happen, and you're going to be like, well, hold on. What I once thought I was in forever. Now I've changed, you know, we grow, we evolve a little bit and we start having, um, big other dreams and aspirations. So I think Grant saw that and he was like, Hey, I don't want to be pigeonholed in this. I better get out now before it's too late. Could have been a, a, a big, a big reason why he bolted. And then the other reason the final reason is you could have just gotten a better offer. Meaning, did somebody come in, a sponsor or whatever, and say, hey, get over here and you get a bigger piece of the pie. Now, Good Good team said they threw the kitchen sink at this guy and said, have this, do this, do it. And I don't know what they were throwing at him, but they were trying to make it really, really um, good for him to stay. They were trying to give him everything possible. And that's, that's, that's difficult. You know, when I've had this happen and I've seen people have it, they, they have a deal in this TV show or this, and then another offer comes around and it's hard to turn it down. Money, money, prestige, more of the pie is always an incentive to look elsewhere. You know, I, I had a, an opportunity years, years ago with two different companies. And one was, I really wanted to do this work, but it was just the same. It was the same work for the same money and the same everything. Or I could go over here and I made a little bit more money, but the potential was much higher. So I went over there. So that could be something that kind of led him elsewhere is like, Hey, it's similar work, a little bit more and a much higher potential long-term. So I think personally, the two reasons why Grant has left are his relationship status and the fact that there's more potential out there, um, long-term on your own, than with good good it's i'm honestly i'm sad to see him go because he was uh one of the better players on that crew and it was cool to see him and garrett do stuff on garrett's channel and grant's channel together they were like a good like dynamic duo doing their thing out there that was pretty good they had some good content taken on other players i don't know if that's going to disappear or not or how that relationship is going to be 
moving forward. Like, can the good, good crew still collaborate with Grant and Micah now that they're not part of the good, good crew? We'll find out. Like, how are the legal, the legalities of it now that they are no longer together? Because what good, good has done, and it's brilliant, here's what they've done. They have six or seven or however many guys, part of good, good, and then each one of them has their own channel. It's called clustering in the YouTube world, where you have like the mothership and then all the little tentacles coming off of it, and they all support that mothership plus all of these, as these grow, the main ship, the main channel grows. But now when one breaks off and does his own thing, it it's going to affect, like, are they going to bring that guy back in to work with the other clusters of the main channel? Or are you just out and you're off on your own? And if you're off on your own, how do they look at it? Like, do they look at it like, Hey, it doesn't matter. Golf is golf. We all, as one grow, we all grow. Like, is that going to benefit us or not? Or do they look at it? Hey, he's just a competitor now and we're here to crush him. So he's out. Hopefully not this, the second case, because I believe personally on the YouTube platform, it's been always all about collaboration and helping one another and growing as a community of golf, which we've done over the past few years as each channel grows everybody. And if you look at the statistics and analytics of all the channels, like I get views off their channel, they get views off my channel. That's how it works. That's how we grow together. And that's how we promote golf. I'm all about just growing the game of golf and having people in, enjoy golf in a different way so that you can get better at the game and have more fun doing it. Cause there's more than one way to play golf. So it's sad to see people leaving uh, good, good, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen in the future. It's gonna continue to happen as people rotate in and out. And we'll see, we'll see what the truth is, but I believe it's relationship and uh, better offer. More, not necessarily better, but more potential offer, I think are the two things and probably mostly relationship status is the primary reason why you would leave and go on your own and do your own thing. Cause it's, it's just the way that's the way of life. I wish him the best. Hope he does. Uh, hope he does. Hope he crushes it out there. But that's my take on the biggest really golf news. I don't know of the month so far. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.